All right, so we're going to start with the BW2 bleaching powder and then the Salon Care 30 Volume Cream. So I'm going to put a couple of scoops into a clean, empty bowl. I don't really measure it. I kind of just guess on how many bundles I have. And then I add the um, Salon Care 30 Volume Cream to it. And I'm just going to mix it up until I get to the certain consistency that I want. As you can see, it's still kind of a little dry. So I'm just going to add a little more of that um, volume cream to get to the consistency that I want. After adding a little more of that cream, of course, you're just going to mix it up until you get to the certain texture. And it should look something like this. Not too runny, not too um, thick. And next, we're going to prepare the pear. I combed it out a little bit, you know, just so there won't be any strays. And then I'm going to start from the bottom. Since we're going for an ombre effect, you got to start at the bottom first. That way, it'll be like lighter at the ends, you know. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm also going to show you how I kind of like stagger it, the bleach. You know, like that. There you go. Some people do like a straight line, and I don't really think that's like ombre. Like, I think that's so ugly when people have a straight line with some color. So that's what this staggering is for, because you don't want a perfectly straight line. I mean, this isn't the top of the uh, color anyway, but still, I was basically showing y'all how it should be done. Then you're just going to cover that up with some foil and begin on the next bundle. I'm using um, chip clips to keep the hair still. And this is just a baking sheet that I have underneath this wrapped up in foil. I had to add another piece of foil to it because the hair was longer than I expected. So for like extra length, I just kind of added a piece of foil. And you're going to do the exact same thing as you did on the first bundle. Start from the bottom. I'm definitely not a professional guys this is just how i do it it was kind of easy for me so i'm just showing you how i do it if you mess up that's on you uh so yeah definitely try this at your own risk also wear gloves because i did not wear gloves while i was doing this and it's very important that you take care of your skin because this can actually burn you like i literally got some of the bleach on my skin and it was burning i had to stop like three times to wash my hands but I didn't have time to go to the store and get some gloves because I was trying to hurry up and do the video. So, yeah. And my arm just really keep getting in the way. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to hurry up and do this video. Like, I didn't even realize my arm was in the way. I was just trying to hurry and bleach this hair and, like, upload this content. So, so sorry that my arm keeps popping up in the screen. Hopefully, y'all understand what I'm saying and how I'm doing this. It's really not that hard. I'm really using a lot of foil for this. Guys, don't use this much foil. Like, I'm really going overboard with it. I was just trying to make sure the bleach didn't go anywhere. And this is that Reynolds foil, so it ain't cheap. Like, dang, I'm really mad at myself. But anyways, you don't got to get no fancy foil. Just get some regular little cheap foil, basically to keep the bleach from spreading. And, yeah, just going to do the same thing for all bundles. I'm going a little higher on this, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm back on the first bundle. So, yeah, we're going to go back to the first bundle. You can see the colors changing at the bottom. I'm going up a little higher, and as you can see, I'm stacking the bleach. No straight lines. All right, go to the next one. Repeat. And don't press down on the foil, y'all. I don't know why I did that. That was so stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to do the rest of the bundles the exact same way. Go up a little bit. Stack the bleach, no straight lines. Once again, we don't like straight lines. We want it to look ombre. There's my arm getting in the way again, but I'm using the rat tail comb just to make sure I get the bleach all the way through these bundles once again. And yep, um, do not press down. I'm probably gonna press down again. Wow, chick, what are you doing? My mom be so gone sometimes, but it's okay because it still turned out good. And this is why you should not press down when you're putting the foil on top of the hair because look at those pack <laughs> patches. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, it's okay though because we're going to put some more bleach on it. I ran out and I'm going to mix some more. This is how I know she had like a couple of more bundles than me because I didn't have to mix any more of the um powder when I did my hair. But it's also a shorter length, so that's probably why. And yeah, we're just going to stack again. Same old routine. 
no straight lines comb at the ends and wrap it up i only went over this hair twice because um she didn't have a closure and i didn't want her natural hair to like overlap with the ombre i don't like that look personally you might like it so go up as high as you want with this honey blonde but i don't like it <laughs> my hair i have closure so i went up a little higher i did three layers if that's what you want to call it when i dye my hair only because i have a closure though and i know that my closure will blend with the ombre like i said it's up to you though this last time i just went over each bundle again and instead of folding folding the foil back as i was doing before i just let it hang down so i'm just making sure that it's all covered up and i haven't missed any spots and then i'm just wrapping it up again with foil using all of my rentals wrap up i mean i was really going in with this foil so yeah you just gotta make sure that you haven't missed any spots if you want to go up a little more you can it's up to you and as you can see we're still doing the stacking we're not doing any straight lines i'm going to put everything i used in the description box because i didn't explain it in the beginning basically i'm just trying to show you the basis because y'all can easily pause rewind fast forward as y'all need to but i'll put everything in the description box so you know everything that i use to get this look once you're done with everything you're going to let this sit for 30 minutes and you can um, adjust it as you need to. Like, you can come look, come back in 30 minutes and see if it's the color that you want and leave it on a little longer. It's completely up to you. So, now we're on the toning part. I'm using the toner by Wella, I think that's how you say it, and T28, as well as the number 20 volume that comes with it. Going to mix one part of the toner to two parts of the volume. So, I basically emptied the whole bottle of the toner into the... um bowl and then i filled up the bottle the toner bottle with um the developer not the developer the volume cream twice so that's how i did that and then you're just going to apply it all over the hair kind of like you did the bleach making sure you get it all the way through so that it can take the brassiness out of the hair because if not it's going to look like like uh to me it looks like orange like a like a dingy orange if you don't use the toner if you like that look then you can do it but i don't like the look so the method for this is the exact same method as the bleaching you're going to put the toner on the uh, bundles and then you're going to wrap it up with foil um all the way up until the toner is gone basically also i forgot to say that you do need to wash the hair after you get done bleaching it of course but i figured that's kind of common sense you're just going to wash it the same way you do any other bundles with shampoo and conditioner. And then once you get done washing it, you're going to just like kind of dry the hair off a little bit with the towel and then apply the toner because you want the hair a little damp. The instructions are on the box. So if you just follow that, then you should be good. You're going to do this the same way you did the bleach hair. Let it sit for 30 minutes, rinse it out, shampoo and condition it, and then that's it. You should have an ombre effect once it air dries. And it might not be exactly the same as mine, but it will be ombre and it's still gonna be cute. So that's the way I did it. I hope it helps and thanks for watching.